Hey guys, Robin Lynn here, straight to you from the forest. I want to share with you today whether you are selling your own products, books, courses, retreats, programs, or you're marketing or promoting other people's products as an affiliate or a network marketer. This pertains to you, no matter where you fall on the spectrum. What you speak to speaks back. Uh, I always used to coach my clients in the boomerang, the boomerang, the boomerang effect. <laughs> it's summer, so you probably get the picture of a boomerang. So whatever you speak to when you're marketing, or even when you're not marketing, that's the thing that I want you guys to really pay attention to. You probably hear a lot of the marketing gurus say that you always have to be marketing or you're always selling yourself. And a lot of you may feel disconnected with that because you may think, well, I don't always want to be in a sales mode or a, at my best presentation or promoting, <laughs> promoting mode. I, I want to be me. And so the thing you really want to consider is first about how you speak and how you communicate, because that's that's the way that others perceive and relate with you in terms of how you're promoting and how you're presenting anything, whether it's your personality, whether it's for a job interview, whether it's to get your kid into an after school awesome program that you want them to attend, whatever it is. Even in, in marriage, you guys know in relationships, we're always presenting ourselves, whether it's our worst, our best, or somewhere in between. Hi guys, good to see you here. So it's really, it's really important to kind of get out of the negative connotation of, well, I don't always want to have to be at my best promoting and selling myself Robin. And actually, that's, that's actually okay. You guys don't have to think of it as being your best all the time 24-7. But the thing that you really need to really embody, start to really consider and just you know, just start giving yourself that thought of, well, how could I imagine that no matter what, what it, whatever I speak to is going to speak back to me. And so something that really, really hit me was uh, Kanye West was on Dave Letterman. I don't know if you guys, <laughs> hi guys, uh, I don't know if you guys are into Kanye in terms of like how he started waking up to his spiritual awakening, his self-realization. And so Kanye, whether you like him or hate him, no matter how you think of him, he was, he was asked by Dave Letterman uh, how he was transitioning with his language because Dave asked him, well, I heard that you're redefining your own language <laughs> so that you have a different mindset to approach life with in a more positive, empowering way. And so Kanye started with, uh, he actually quoted the Buddha, <laughs> which I thought was rock solid, amazing. Um, but he started saying that he, he has these certain words. Kanye literally refuses to think from and speak from certain words. He said some of them are could, would, should, and try. And another one he used was help because he, he said all of these words mean that I'm not at the part of me being in the moment, being present, being willing and capable and able to do what it is that I can do for someone else in service of someone else. And I really appreciated that because when you are marketing or selling or promoting anything, even if it's yourself in your own relationships or in your workplace or in your business with your employees, you have to understand that you're always communicating something through your your language what you speak and also how you engage emotionally from that from that energy standpoint when people see you if you're looking depressed obviously they're gonna pick that up versus if you're if you're bright and you're energized and you're lit up it's gonna it's gonna transfer into all of your relationships and the people around you which is gonna have again that boomerang effect so we have to be really mindful. And so Kanye was basically saying, you know, I'm becoming mindful of how I'm thinking so that I can become more in, in the present moment and help people in any way I can and actually do what it is I say I'm going to do and I want to do and I can do, but I, but, but I will do. And so he made the, this connection between what is it that I could do, but that I'm not going to do and that I'm choose. I'm going to choose not to do versus 
what will I do? What will I choose to do? How will I choose to engage? How will I choose to support my family and my career and my business and my well-being? And so it's really, honestly, it's at, it's at the foundation. It's at the core of everything that you create and all of the money that you make and all of the people that you attract. You have to understand, and Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V talked about this in terms of everything is about self awareness. And so if you are lacking self-awareness, if you are not clear and mindful and aware of how you speak, of how you're feeling, and how that is what gets you back everything that you're getting, that's, you know, some would say the law of attraction. (laughs) And uh, Jay Shetty mentioned this as far as going back to his practices with Buddhism and and Hinduism. And, you know, so it, it goes back many years, but as In modern day, we can say basically, what I feel is what I'm going to get back. What I speak to out into the world is what I'm going to get back. And so we have to be mindful of that when we're promoting or selling anything. And even when we're not in a promotional mode, we have to be aware of how we're engaging with ourselves and how that impacts what we receive back. And so whatever amount of money you want to make... You obviously, if you've heard me talk before, you need to know your number. How much money monthly are you intentionally aiming to reach? That's a a goal that you should have and that you should know that number monthly. What you need to make to cover your bills, your living expenses, and to cover marketing and then be able to scale. What's your monthly income goal or revenue goal so you can move into profit? And then another goal is what... What intentions do you have to express your skills in some way or to serve people in some way or to generate interest, to lead people to their goals in some way, even if you're not offering your own services? Now, I know a lot of you who are in the affiliate network marketing side who don't have your own stuff to sell. Most people who engage with me and have been following me for seven 10, 20 years now, Uh, usually the the people who follow me are coaches, consultants, holistic providers who have their own stuff that they sell, a book, a course, a program, a retreat. But I know lately, a lot of you know that I've been building an online system for automation and scale that allows people, regardless of what they're promoting or selling, even if they're not the one presenting uh, their own value, We've created a system so that people can tap into automation and personalize it and use these new technologies, BAM, behavioral adaptive technology. And so I'm really excited. Oh, is that, I've got some, some nice lint on my, on my shirt here. Oh, by the way, this, um, this shirt was given to me. Uh, it's a coexist shirt. It was given to me many years ago. I think it was 12 years ago by a client who, uh, had a life shift and he got me this shirt because he was, he just had this kind of awakening with his relationship and his business after working with me. So uh, shout out to Lyle <laughs> who got me this shirt. Um, and uh, anyway, what I wanted to share with you is that regardless of whether you're the one offering your own stuff or you're promoting someone else's, it's really important to have a system that's automated where you are able to integrate yourself into it where people are able to see you as the value provider even if you're not the one who wrote the book or who created the course but you've got to start to understand that what you speak to speaks back and so you've got to be really aware of what it is that you want to receive what it is that you want back how much money what kind of people what kind of experiences do you want to have in your life right now not what happened before and not what could happen in a thousand and one different directions in the future but right now where is it that you want to have your experiential presence where is that what does that look like and so you need to be aware of that that's what Gary Vee said is self-awareness and then from there we speak to that we speak to people we speak to specific audiences we speak to specific needs that people have we speak to the wants and desires and goals that other people have that then they reflect back and say that is what I want and so you you have to understand that there is this dynamic playing out regardless of what it is that you are selling or promoting 
And especially if it's your own stuff, especially if you are the product creator, course creator, author, presenter, if you're the one that created all of that stuff, you've got to be even more aware of how that impacts what you receive back. And if you're an affiliate or a network marketer, you have to understand that you have to start putting yourself into your system in a way that's somewhat personalized where you're developing relationships with your audience. And so I'm going to be releasing, I know I've been saying it for the past month, but I've been working on a epic class uh, and we'll be releasing that very shortly, which leads into something quite epic and amazing. And so I'm really excited to share with you because we've been putting together this epic training of the success strategy that all entrepreneurs online are using to get crazy amazing results but most importantly to create lifestyle freedom time freedom so you're not sucked into working with clients only personally one-on-one -on -one or where your time is drained because you're just sitting behind the computer all day and you never have like this testing or split testing going on and you don't know you don't know how to engage online with split testing because you're spending so much time trying to create your products and you're just so far removed from the testing and analytical process you're just you're not able to get the right results because you lose too much time and then you're you're not able to uh to revamp things because you don't have the cash flow to to fuel you moving forward so a lot of people they fail because of that and uh, the other thing is to which I talk about in this video, know your lead value and, and be able to predict your income each month. So when you know your lead value and your customer value, you're able to understand how much time, how many videos, how many posts, how you're able to know exactly how much you need to spend each month to get back a certain number, a specific number of leads, which generates you a specific amount of money. And then leading into, we'll go into this in the video, zero cost ad strategy where your ads are covered because of your marketing efforts, which allows you to scale up and then be able to take care of your, your basic living expenses because your advertising is covering that and then pay for all of your marketing business and living expenses, which then allows you to get huge into profit because you're building and growing a list. So we share with you all about this as well as knowing how to tap into cash flow optimization. So you have multiple streams of income coming in and out of your system. And again, when I build systems, I've been doing this for oh, since 2012, I've been building online systems. Uh, but most recently, the tools and the infrastructure has been so simple where I get to focus on the most important piece, which is creating the entire infrastructure. So it's all synergized and speaking directly, using the message, speaking directly to each individual person through automation where your, your physical personal time isn't involved, but where you're creating email sequences that are based on their behaviors and what they want and you lead them specifically down a path that's relevant to them. So a lot of you may know about relevancy if you've done any Facebook advertising. So Facebook ads, relevancy, it goes all the way back to how you're presenting yourself on the front end and inside your funnel. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, but you want to generate income online, it's essential that you learn this success strategy. And I've been playing with it. I've been refining it and I've been mastering it. And so I'm really excited to be able to, to offer that to you, to share that with you. And I will be letting you guys know when it's released. If you have any questions, let me know. Really great to see you guys. I'm gonna continue my hike here. It's getting warmer and warmer incrementally. <laughs> so I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget what you speak to speaks back. Be mindful of not just your words, but how you feel and the intention of what you wanna create. Know your monthly income targets, know exactly what it is you need and want to generate each month, and then have an idea of what it is that you want to create, whether it's offering other people's stuff or your own, have this, this broad awareness to know exactly what you need to do now. That's what I help people get in touch with. Automation through personalization, building relationships with your audience, and really being able to expand in a way that you feel like what you're doing pays off for you, and you have more time to 
give to people, to share your love, to take care of yourself, to travel, whatever it is. So that's my intention to help people generate a lot more revenue and profit to be able to have the time freedom to just decide what they want to do. Typically it means serving people or giving away (laughs) more value for free, having self-care time, family time, Um, because at the heart of it, guys, human beings, we all uh, are, our, uh, our DNA and our infrastructure and our consciousness is wired to serve and the more <laughs> the more uh, income and the more profit and the more revenue we're able to generate that frees up our time we're then able to feel really at ease and relieved with our with our schedules and then we can really tune into passion projects and start expanding on things that really inspire us more you know from our core but we have to create the foundation first we have to create that foundation first before we just expect to have this time freedom. And so it all comes incrementally and it comes from building that foundation. So really excited, guys. Awesome. I'll talk to you guys soon. Watch out for the strategy, the success strategy video. Really, uh, really excited to release that to you guys. Ciao, ciao.